Welcome. This video is for air signs in honor of doing this reading in June, in honor of Gemini's and all our air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm going to start with the Kristen Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. Then we're gonna back it up with some runes. So let's begin by doing a four card crystal lattice. Normally I don't shuffle on camera, but I'd like these guys to jump for us. We can get a really inspiring message for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What can we tell them? This will be for the month. All right, that's two. Rose Quartz. Paradise. Two more, please. I hope you're having it awesome. Thank you. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope that you'll give me a like and subscribe so we can continue to share the messages Today, I'm going to put them in like this. I hope you can see them. Let me set, do it a little bit like that. But I'll show you as we go. Um, yes, I want to inspire you every day. So please subscribe. There's no obligation at all. Um, you'll get daily energy reads from me. And I am, as grow, I grow the channel providing readings for the zodiac signs. I'm happy to do readings in the future for you individually, as well as get into astrology and birth charts and all those great things. But right now, please understand, this is the only way to reach me right now through these videos and us sharing this awesome opportunity to share energy. So, do not take any email messages or anything like that from anyone uh, using my identity or pictures. All right, so let's begin with our crystal lattice square, which is gonna answer some what if questions and what do I need to get through and what's holding me back? And in our first position is the Peridot, 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 however you like to say it. Now, this card is going to aid in your emotional cleansing. So, I'm recording this on Sunday the 6th of June. Sundays are a good day to do some emotional cleansing and get ready for the week. So what else does this have to tell us? From a self-understanding point of view, it says you are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. Oh, you don't wanna do that. It's easy to say, okay, I won't do that, but naturally we fall into some uh, monkey chatter in our brains that leads us down that the wrong path backwards when we need to keep moving forward. Sometimes you might by nature be jealous and have dark thoughts. You need to detoxify this and learn to forgive and let go. Okay, so this is something that you really need to do to, to move forward. You have the power to go through fiery transmutation and then merge transformed. So moving forward, what's holding you back? In that position, we have the quantum quattro. And I'm sorry, leave that there for you to see. This has amazing healing power and it's going to help you in, in an energetic shift um, please watch today's video and several before it. It's all about going through this change and understanding 
You need to let go of the past in just the most healthy, graceful way and move forward. It'll ultimately be for the best of those around you. It may seem selfish, but like I've said, for several days, you need to put your oxygen mask on first before you can help others. Now, regarding this card of synergy and self-understanding, you are an extremely complex person who is seeking wholeness within yourself. Examine all facets of your personality, especially those you hide from yourself or others. Accept those of value. Find the gifts hidden deep within mistakes. Forgive and let go. Okay, you've been told twice now, plus in my previous reading today, forgive and let go. Forgive yourself ultimately and let go because you're the one who's holding on to something. And you may feel like the harm was done to you, but the longer you continue to hold on, hold on to this, you're only harming yourself. Okay, finally recognize the resources you have to draw on. Okay, so moving on, the action required that's speaking to us in this crystal lattice square is the garnet. The garnet has amazing ability to help you heal as well and help you move through this shift that we are concentrating on. The garnet speaks to passion and it is a rejuvenating stone believed to protect against evil and terrifying dreams and attract love. In self-understanding, this describes a passionate soul with a cur courageous heart. So you're complicated, you're dark, but you're courageous and passionate and you have a deep soul and heart. Forgive yourself and be okay and know you're enough. Be confident and constant. Let go of your inner demons, taboos, inhibitions, and fantasies. Recognize self-sabotage and expand your awareness into all that you can be. Finally, as we look at this card, virtue matters to you. You, you are capable of great devotion to a cause or relationship and have strong survival instincts. So my heart and soul tells you to be strong and confident and love yourself. Everything will fall into place. So finally, as we examine the crystal lattice square, and the fourth card, which is our outcome, is unconditional love. Unconditional love. We all need to have unconditional love in our life. And where do you get that first and foremost? From yourself, from your inner being. So as we finish off today, all my air friends out there understand we're all going through changes and metamorphosis. Know that you're enough and love yourself. And then everything you do after that will be in harmony with you and those around you. This rose quartz is full of unconditional love and infinite peace. It draws loving relationships to you and heals past emotional traumas. It also provides support during a crisis. So if you are in turmoil now, please look at this heart full of love, joy, and healing vibrations. And know that you're sharing energy with so many that want to bring this joy to you. In terms of self-understanding, you're a beautiful soul who has infinite peace deep within and 
enormous empathy. Relationships are where you learn your soul lessons, heal heartbreak or abuse, and dissolve toxic emotions and pain that prevent you from giving and receiving love. You have power to love unconditionally and support others. So this is phenomenal information from the healing, wisdom healing oracle guide. This is by Judy Hall and the light team has given you clear information here today that you need to let go of your fears of toxic behaviors and people. Put yourself first, heal yourself, and love, joy, and happiness are gonna follow. So again, peace to you. Now, quickly for my air signs, I'm just going to pull three runes, see what comes out of that. Thank you. And I will place them right here. Okay, I hope you see them. You don't see them at all. Ah! Okay, there's three. You can see it. Check. Okay. I've pulled them, I pulled them. You saw how I, uh, they're just speaking to us. This again, for my air signs, this represents the rune of daytime, the power of beginning and endings. What have we been talking about all week? Uh, it represents change and it also is an air sign Keywords to remember when you see this rune, the gauze, letter D. Clarity, awakening, awareness, transformation, movement, realization. In astrology, it represents a half moon and air. And the message that you need to understand from this is it is time for changes. Focus on the positive. Meditation is helpful during this time of transformation. Because what have I been telling you? You have to be balanced and move forward with grace. Meditation will help you do that. Next, we have Anzuz, the letter A. Rune of the breath of God, the power of communication. This too is an air symbol. It's a message of protection, one of vision, wisdom, truth, stability, and guidance. Stability, balance, guidance as you make the change. The, the message, the consistent messages I receive are a blessing and I'm so grateful and I hope you'll stick with me all the time because this energy is amazing. In astrology, it represents air and mercury and in tarot, the magician. It is time to seek advice from someone trusted. Be careful of making a rash decision. Seek knowledge. So throughout uh, this past week, we did talk a little bit about study and research in making the decisions as you move forward and making these decisions so that they're best for you not in a selfish way, because what's right for your inner being is going to be best for everyone involved. So lastly, the letter S, the rune of the sun, the power of light. This is a fire symbol. In astrology, it's the sun. And in tarot, it's the sun. And it, it is time to be happy and lighthearted. All that darkness we talked about with the crystal square lattice and moving from that, you're moving to this. Be careful not to be overconfident. That's why I said move with grace, but enjoy the success, good fortune, the joy and the love that you deserve that's coming. 
This is a symbol that all is well. And I want you to celebrate that all is well and the joy and peace that come from these messages today. I am so grateful that you all could be here with me today. And I wish my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius friends a wonderful month. Ruth, move forward with balance and grace, and you are going to have a very joyful month. Peace. Don't forget, where there's truth, there's love, and where there's love, there's truth.